Hi, welcome. It's December 13th. We're ready for another ornament. I hope you are. And today we're going to look at number 13. Oh, here it is. This one is looking at things inside out. And what do you see? I see flowers, kind of a vine, making a pretty wreath around a crown. And this is from the book of Samuel, um, 16, 7. And it says, people judge by outward appearance, but the Lord looks at the heart. So um, I know you've seen people probably before on TV or in person where they didn't look too good. They might have been sick and they didn't feel good. Or maybe they just got out of bed. And um, or maybe some people had dirty clothes on or something and they didn't look their best. But you know what? That doesn't tell you anything about who they are inside. God looks at our insides and he knows what's inside and that's how he judges, judges us and that's who he loves. And so we also have an opportunity to look at um, people and to love them because God loves them and not to judge them by their outside. And so that's what this is about. And it kind of reminds us of the story of uh Samuel going to anoint David king. He goes to Jesse's house. He's like, bring all your sons. And he brings out all his sons and they're big and strapping and good looking and athletic and we're hard workers and all this stuff. And Samuel goes down the line. No, not this one. No, not this one. Nope, not that one. Not that one either. And he goes and finally he says, is this all your sons? Are, are there any others? And the dad, Jesse says, well, yeah. There's the youngest one, David, but he's out with the sheep. He's just a kid. And the Lord spoke to Samuel and said, that's the one. He knew David's heart. And so even though he was young and even the dad didn't think he was worth this honor, God did. And David became known as one who loves the Lord with a heart for the Lord. And so that's our reminder for today, looking at things inside out, judging people by the inside. So let's put that on our tree. We're going to put it right here, and you guys have a fabulous day.